Hello everybody, this is Andre Solo and I'm really excited to show you this really quick clip. And um, I decided to upload it because I realized you might want to see it. And uh, basically this is an A7S3 clip uh, shot at one of the events I did in a low light situation and slowed down for all the people who want to observe the quality. And um, we stretch it, literally low light, low depth of field. And um, we turned this exact seven second clip into a seven minutes clip. And you make the judge for yourself. See we see if you think it's uh, really good. I don't know. I think it's amazing. Um, it, it just blows my mind, to be honest. And it looks beautiful. This is this this clip is uh, slowed down to its maximum potential before adding. Uh, optical flow here we're going to add the optical flow because we've surpassed its natural limits and this is a seven second clip turned into a one minute clip after this one we're gonna repeat the same clip but this time it's gonna be seven minutes stretch on Final Cut Pro X optical flow enabled and thanks to this girl for being awesome, performing. She was performing during the reception in Florida, Miami. She was very kind. We are finally approaching the seven minute version clip and the beginning of it is going to be without optical flow just to give you perspective of how jagged it looks. Really it just looks like a photo combination. Once we activate the optical flow it's going to fill in those gaps and make it very smooth. Alright, here it is. Isn't that beautiful? <sighs> wow, I'm just I've seen this who knows how many times and it still blows my mind. I mean just the sheer fact that we can take a seven second clip and stretch it to seven minutes. Like I don't know how much percentage that is or the calculation of that, but that was impossible a few years ago. I probably could put it to 1% stretch, which would probably be an hour, and it would look almost just as good. Maybe just some artificial morphing like we see with the fire. I was actually just showing this clip to my friend today. Um, we were talking about the Sony A7S III, and then he was just telling me how excited he was to shoot it at 240 frames per second at 1080. And I told him, shoot at 4K at 120 instead and stretch it out. It'll look better. I gave him one of my clips. We stretched it, tested its limits, and here I am uploading it and sharing it with everybody else. The lens I used was a Canon 50mm 1.2. I believe this was handheld. This is this this was shot a year ago. It's I'm trying to remember. Forgive me if I'm wrong. And I believe I'm very convinced that I shot it at 120 shutter and I only realized later on that I should have shot it at 240. And if that is the case, then if I did shoot this at 240 again, it would actually be a lot more smooth and better than it actually is right now. If you guys like this clip and want more, let me know. I'll totally do it just for you guys. Anyways, this is basically it. If you guys really want to watch till the end, go for it. Otherwise, you, you know, go watch your other YouTube videos.